Have you ever thought about the best map for each Valen agent? Well, that's what I'm going to be talking about in this video. I'm going to be going over all 17 agents in this video. So stay tuned for your favorite agent and let's get right into this. Starting off with Sova, his strongest map is definitely Ascent, mainly due to the fact that he has arrows that literally scan all of sight, and he has so many lineups that I literally can't even count. Just watch Average Jonas and you'll see how many lineups Average Jonas has for this map. Now, I am a Sova main and I play Sova on Ascent, so I just know how overpowered he is, and to win on Ascent, he's almost a must pick, and he's literally so overpowered on this map. Next up is Sky. Now Sky's best map, in my opinion, is Bind, mainly because her pop flashes are just insanely overpowered, and she can hold B site like by herself, just pop flashing B long. And if you blind them, it's the freest kills ever. And she can also dog out on attack, clearing so many angles at once. Next up is KO, and I chose Split for KO. Because the initiator meta on split right now is kind of weird with Sova. Sova's the best initiator in the game, so when you can't play him on a map, it's really wonky. Um, and Sky's a pretty popular pick right now, but KO's knife can disable Killjoy setups. And it's just really useful. He also has some good flashes like this that you can bounce off walls. You can also play post plant extremely easily. With even it being there, he can just throw his molly, which damages um, the bomb, so he's just very viable on this map. Finishing up with the initiators, we have Breach, and this is kind of obvious, but his best map is by far Fracture. He can literally play anti-plant or post-plant from anywhere, especially on A-site. He can literally do so much damage, and his concuss can like concuss most of site and up and down on a site and he can blind super far which can be super useful for pinching sites as well as his ult literally like going across the whole site which is just extremely overpowered making this by far his best map jet's best map is probably breeze with it being so open her movement is literally insane when used correctly she can also op on so many different off angles. For example, you can op on the pyramids by updrafting, and her ult can be extremely OP by just being able to dash anywhere because of it being so open. And this makes Breeze the best map for Jet. Phoenix's best map is by far Haven. He has been seen play played on Haven in pro play a lot. Which is surprising because Phoenix is rarely played in pro play due to other duelists just being so much more meta. But his retaking capabilities is just unmatched on this and his ult can gain a lot of intel. Especially from somewhere like A short. And his flashes can just be super viable for retaking and getting on the site. Making this his best map. Now I know what you're thinking. Yoru, he's not good at all which I honestly agree with you there, but Bind is probably his best map because he can do so many outplays by TPing back site on both A and B site, and if you put his TPs into the teleporter, it literally makes the regular sound, which is the only utility in the game that can do that, so you can do extremely good outplays on this map, and if I could only play Yoru on one map, this would definitely be it, making it his best map. The best map for Rays is without a doubt Bind. Her boom bot can literally clear all of Hookah super easily with an easy lineup. Her nade can create a lot of space, especially on B site, back site. And although it might not be the best map for flashy double satchels, she can still create a lot of space super easily. Rain is very balanced on all maps, so she doesn't really have a best map in my opinion, but if I had to choose a map, I would probably go with Haven, mainly because her blinds can create a lot of space. For example, in mid, if she's pushing out a mid window, throwing a blind can blind, um, if used correctly, blind um, B site and garage at the same time, which can help a lot with certain pushes. Sage's best map by far is Split. She is nearly a must pick on Split, mainly for her wall on defending, 
With it being able to block off mid, that gives you so much mid control at the beginning of a round. Although a mistake I see a lot of people make, they're not walling like this. And especially in higher elo, people can actually, they know to jump on that box. So if a sage walls like this, and they play mid, they can literally have so much map control. They can also help slow B site extremely easily, and they can rotate to A site very easily to assist if they rush that, going through ro Cypher's best map would definitely be Bind. He can hold down B site practically by himself, like pacing go tripwire similar to that on Hookah, and then watching B long. He also has some really sneaky tripwires on B site, for example, one like this that goes into the sand. And overall, he just has some really good setups on this map. He also has really good cameras. For example, this camera on B site watches long and can um, hit all of site with the dart. Overall, this is definitely his best map with defending. Oops. Although we haven't seen much pro play and in general gameplay with Chamber, with him being so new to the game, Bind would probably be his best map so far, mainly due to the fact that he can literally teleport from A site to B site by placing a TP in Cubby and in U-Haul. This is extremely overpowered. Also, using his TPs, he can create many off angles, and using his ultimate, for example, you could place a TP here or there on A site, and then place another TP to heaven. And then once he gets a pick A short, he can literally just TP out. And then this can make him an extremely good pick on mind. The fan favorite Sentinel's Killjoy best map would most likely be Split. I was having a hard time choosing between Ascent and Split, but I ended up going with Split because no one can defend on Split as well as Killjoy. Her setups are so good and they can literally hold down a site so easily when used correctly. If she plays a good angle on A site or B site, she's nearly unstoppable. In this setup that I'm about to show you on mid is probably the best culture setup in the whole game. When I use this in game, it is the free skills of my life. You literally just do that, super easy setup, and it's setups like these that make Split Killjoy's best map by far. Viper's best map is definitely Breeze. It is nearly impossible to win on Breeze without Viper. The map is just so big that without Viper's wall to support your team going on the site, it is so difficult with any other controller. And another reason why she's so good on Breeze is her lineups. There's so many of them. This one is so easy. You get into that corner, aim at the leaf, and that lands on default. It's these lineups and the fact that she is a necessity in Breeze that makes Breeze her best map. For Astra, I chose Split. Astra is extremely viable on nearly every map aside from maybe Breeze, but in my opinion, she's the best controller in the game, and there's no really best map for her. Even though I chose Split, I can literally go for three different maps that she would be good for. Although I chose Split mainly because her ultimate. Her ultimate can shut down Sight so easily on attacking, and it can act as a really good Viper wall. So if you don't have a Viper on Split, then Astra can be extremely helpful, especially with her ultimate. Moving on to Omen. Similar to Astra, Omen can be pretty useful on a lot of maps, aside from Breeze and maybe other maps like Fracture, but I would say Bind is, is his best map. You don't really need to smoke off many entry points on Bind. For example, on B-Site, it's really just CT and Elbow and that's about it. But his paranoia can be useful for post plant, and he can also TP to quick corners. For example, A cubby on A short, and even behind the crates on B, can also um, throw the enemy off guard sometimes. Although Brimstone is probably one of the worst agents in the game, if not the worst, right now, I would say his best map is Haven. Mainly because his smokes can be super useful for getting on the site, especially on C and A site. And his ult can block off and kill a lot of people on site. And he has so many lineups that it's hard to count. For example, an easy one like this. And all of these factors can make Brimstone very viable on Haven. If you made it this far into the video, congratulations, you reached the end. I just covered the best maps in my opinion. 
for 17 agents in Valorant. If you made it this far, then comment your favorite agent, your favorite map, and what you would change about this list. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.